Welcome, welcome everybody, Monty back, and today we're playing a little something like Sim Airport. That's what's happening today. It is 2018. Yes, there's still some holiday trees down and about, and everyone's wearing their holiday hats, because there was that new patch uh, right around the holiday season last year with Sim Airport. Look at this fancy. I'm really enjoying the UI. The whole GUI here is looking really fantastic. We got a few little people freaking out here at the end of the line here, trying to figure out who's up next, who gets to go in. A little brawl happening, but that's okay. But the airports have been moving along, and what I'm hoping to do this episode is kind of cover some of the new content. Uh, that I want to throw on down, uh, now that we're seeing this. They've added some more things. We've got the dessert, snack, and coffee. Let's see if we've got some... Oh, look at all this. Look how nice this looks. Plus, there's just the search, which is real cool. But we're going to go to retail. What did I say? We've got desserts. Uh, we've got the health food somewhere. But the pizza joint, that's new. We've got to throw down a pizza joint. And uh, look at that sushi kiosk. Oh, it fits. Fits just right. What else are we going to have to put down here? Uh, that is it. That is it. The newsstand, that's not new news as far as this newsstand. Uh, we've had that around. I just don't think I had one. Uh, but something else, I looked down at zones. Zones, so many things to do. We need to create a first class lounge. I thought I'd throw that down here by the big gate since we don't even have one of these yet. Uh, and then we can see what does this entail. Uh, at a lounge for first-class passengers to better accommodate their needs and desires. So since they're probably a little bit more uh, demanding, I guess is the nice way to put that, we could put more of what they demand in here. So right now this is kind of opposite because it's the first-class area is very uh, poor at the moment. So what I'm going to do is let's throw down some seating here. Give space it out because first class people like a uh, to have their room kind of like this and we'll put I don't know what do we got what do we got we got decorations in here decor and we're gonna go indoors only let me rotate that with the R button throw down some of those throw down some of these and uh, move things right along. Oh, we got to put a little fancy fountain in here, right? You walk in, and you're like, ah, oh, look at the fountain. And uh, construction. What do we got for floors for first class? We want to make it kind of fancy, kind of nice. Look at that ugly carpet. Uh, ooh. Ooh, for now. No, let's go with some nice stone. No, because we want it comfortable. We wanted a carpet, so maybe this red carpet. Uh, up here. Do I really not have that money? Oh, I get it. It's because stuff's building. All of this. And I'm going to do a little bit of stone around the fountains. Some tile. Just because, you know, you get a little splash. A little backsplash here. We're going to throw this down a little bit. So first class lounge is on the way. We're going to figure out what else we need to do here. Uh, in the future. Uh, and some more things. We're going to need some more trash cans and a few more things like that. We have a uh, smaller guy down here using the X1 uh, gate here. Gone through and done, did a lot of uh, quality of life stuff. Made all my gates in this uh, Terminal A gates except for the extra large. Uh, all the terminals down here are B gates except for the Zebra. Zebra 1. And uh, so we're going to start extending out here. We were just short on cash. Something else that's added uh, was... I'm going to hit Z so you can see the uh, zones. Is the maintenance. Um, let's see what we have here. Hire a ramp agent. We don't want to do that. Um, but they also added a finance VP and the foreman. We can finally hire the foreman as the research is now complete. I've been waiting on this construction research. I'm going to go ahead and queue up, spend all our money on maintenance and runway intersections, which will be nice, because that's run uh, one-way runway intersections. Uh, and the maintenance is, allows you to configure all maintenance options. That's probably down under operations control. Uh, this is where we have our commercial pricing. 
transport and deliveries we get to customize. Uh, I'm still kind of happy with everything here. Trash isn't overloading or anything. Fuel services, we are out of fuel. Prices aren't great, but uh, so I'm not going to buy much right now. But let's see what up. What is up with maintenance? So maintenance is going to start at 11 p.m. Go for six hours, so that's good. So that's while we're closed. And uh, the maintenance is allowed during the daily maintenance window because that'll be good because they'll probably take it down while they're working on it. Uh, repair threshold requires researching maintenance to unlock. So that's going to help us. So it looks like runways, gates, toilets, scanners, and such uh, get some damage. So that's good to know. And transport capacity, always love our graphs, right? That's always pretty cool. And the weather forecast, eh, that's kind of useful. But here we go, I actually even have an, an office, an unused, unneeded office here. Um, hmm, I was trying to think if I want to get rid of it. Or if, uh, nah, here's what I'm going to do. You're going to unzone. Zones, unzone this guy. And we're going to dismantle all of this. And then let's see if this changed to... S oh, it didn't change yet. Hmm. CTO. I'm going to fire you. Sorry. I'm going to... And then once you once you quit, because they actually have to, like, leave and quit, go, you're fired. You're fired. I got rid of your office. Did you not notice that? You should. We're going to demolish your whole office here. Because I just don't want it. I just don't need it. And uh, we're going to get that on the way. I have an issue up front, though. The ladies' restroom really kind of builds up. And the one urinal in the men's restroom is also causing some issues. So, uh, yeah, the restroom before security is not fun at all. So, um, what I'm going to be doing, but I'm broke, is I want to build a restroom up here. Uh, like a entrance on this side and this side of the ticketing. And... Um, have a little restroom here for people uh, on this side of security. Uh, hopefully that'll relieve some pressure off of this one down here. And then these also just got built up as temporary uh, restrooms. That's what I'm going to put in here. Because this is already all planned out. This is all going to be foundation and like restaurants and all kinds of cool stuff. This is going to be like our big international terminal. We're going to be able to fit at least three of these uh, lar extra large gates, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, extend the runway out this way. But then look at this. We've got all kinds of extra room. We can keep buying on out. So this is just Terminal B. So eventually, who knows, we might even get a uh, Terminal C going as well. But I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel a little bit of lag. Nothing too crazy. But once I go fast speed... Uh, with all these people here. What do we have? Currently, we only have uh, 500, almost 600 people. I know we've topped out at about 700, 800. So, on that note, check this out. I love how this looks now. Shows all the flights uh, available up top, but then uh, down below. Oops. Oh, I see. I can just click that and go all of one way or the other, or drag and get a little bit of both. I gotcha. I like it. little up arrow there. Um, yes, we did have some flights that were kind of in the midnight uh, era, the early AM, so we had to transfer those. But I have room. Like, I have the XL Gate Z doesn't even have anybody scheduled yet, so we're going to have to do some of that. Uh, gate B5 is completely empty. And then moving southwest completely to the B gates and out of the A gates uh, opened up some room as well. So we've got some room to increase our uh, income. I just wanted to see how things would run uh, with how things are running now. I did have to separate the main runway from over here. I was getting a little uh, clogged stuff. And as you can see on my runways, this guy. Notice if you mouse over the runway, this highlights. Like, that's that one, and then that one highlights over there. Because these are both nine left. Well, I guess this one's nine left, and this one's nine right. 
based on. See, look, if you're coming this way, nine left, and then this nine is on the right side. Barely, it's hard to tell. Uh, anyway, I've got uh, only arrivals and only departures, and that's kept traffic in check because I don't have any one ways yet or anything like that. Uh, and then, unfortunately, I can't buy any real estate this way. So we got a little bit crowded here. Um, but I might do some extensions of the fencing and maybe uh, maybe move some stuff around. We shall see. Things are still moving right along. I'm enjoying it, but I've, it's been a while since I've been able to do an update. So I wanted to get one of these out. Especially because it's the new year, 2018. We got to keep on going. Keep on keep it on as we do. Uh, but as you can see, here we go, B. This is what I was talking about, Southwest making an entrance. But I figured, you know, it's the cheaper flight, cheaper airline, not any, uh, not so much first class <laughs> kind of deal, if it was reality. So uh, I moved them up here. We're going to work on this little first class a little bit down here. And it's getting built. We've got some bushes built in here. Some chairs going down. But it'll be nice to see the first class area underway. Gonna hit the Z key, get, away, get rid of our zones. Uh, and then I am going to be shrinking into the cafe, probably deleting out these cafe tables here. See, you can see a little bit of a little jump of lag there. Just eh, eh, eh. So a little bit of that. I've been struggling with it, but again, my concern more with that is uh, this is a save file that's been going through a few updates, so I'm probably due for a fresh start. But we shall see, because the lag had gone away, but now it's coming back. But again, as you can see, there is a lot. There's a lot going on here. And uh, but for day 125 at the slowest speed, uh, with about 550 passengers, hopefully this gets kind of smoothed out. And this also seems to happen after I let the game uh, <clears throat> run for a little bit. And usually I just do a closeout and a reload. And everything goes well. But just wanted to stop on in, kind of show you guys what's going on. With this kind of uh, hesitation and my FPS is all over the place, I am going to call it here. Uh, but I did want to say and show off all the new content. Uh, it looks like this game's really moving right along. Look at that new pinkish carpet. Mmm, yummy what the first class passengers requested. Um, but a lot of really cool stuff that uh, I'm going to be showing off next episode as well. There's still content. There's still things that we haven't messed with. Um, one thing I would like to show off is this green PAX AI Decisions. When you click on a passenger, for example, uh, let's, let's click on someone coming on in. It will show you everything that they're about to do. So they've already got their ticket. And now that means blue. That means anything that's a uh, security desk is showing. Those are their options. So they're going to go ahead and get in line here because to get to this level, you have to hit this up right here. Uh, and it's also showing them that they are down for hitting up the electric electrics vending, but they can't now because they're in line. So you can actually watch the decision tree, which I think is pretty cool once you click on a passenger. So we're going to watch him go through here. And again, I apologize for the weird choppiness. And see, now that that's done, he's moved on and he's like, all right, I can hit up one of the bag scanners. Here's my decisions. So now that he's gone through his bag scanner, then it's going to go to one of these scanners and so on and so forth, all the way through the decision tree. So I like being able to check out that pathing. I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, things are going quite well. So I'm still digging at Sim Airport. They've got some fun updates. I've been enjoying their development updates as well. A little bit of a prison architect style, which is nothing to hate on. That's definitely um, some good news and good directions. Look at these guys trying to go find a quiet spot to get on their tablet. Probably a little unused outlet hiding back here. Better be, Miss Santa Hat. So I don't know. I'm sure probably next update when I come back, it will be... Uh, Sands, Christmas trees, and uh, Christmas hats, and uh, we'll get on proper for 2018. But thanks for tuning in for a little short update of Sim Airport. Got a lot more coming your way, so stay tuned on the channel of Monte Rico Gaming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and you guys have a wonderful week. Peace on out.